Hey bunnies, welcome to a special edition Naked Sunday video. If you guys are currently living under a rock and just escaped, tomorrow is the day of love, Valentine's Day. And if you can't tell, I love, love, I love Valentine's Day. I love everything behind the concept of Valentine's Day. <laughs> I don't care if you think it's a marketing ploy created by big companies to get your money to spend money on diamonds and chocolates and flowers and teddy bears and all these things. It's a day of love. My Vitas is in Libra. I love love. So I expect gifts on Valentine's Day. I expect love on Valentine's Day. I expect even if you are showing it throughout the year, if you're not, especially if you're not showing it throughout the year, this is the one day where you show that extra amount of love. So before we begin, go ahead, pop your bottle of champagne, pour yourself a glass, pause this video while you're before you do that, <laughs> and then come back and let's talk. Guys. <laughs> When's the last time you saw me in red lipstick though? Wow. So for today's Naked Sunday video, I'm going to be giving you five ways to spice up your Valentine night. Okay? Okay. So the first way that you can spice up your Valentine, and I'm assuming that you're exchanging gifts with your partner, not just guys giving girls, but also girls giving guys. And I'm not just talking about bedroom antics because I'm expecting the guys to show out as well for the girls in the bedroom. So whatever gift he's giving you, I'm expecting you to give him a gift as well. All right, now that that's out of the way, the gift giving portion of the night is over. We've had our dinner, we've had our drinks. Now it's the, the spice, the caliente. My first tip for you would be to create a new persona. Become a different person. Put on a cheap wig, add color to your hair like I did. Put on a sexy outfit. This is where the lingerie part comes in. Get a costume if, if possible. You know, go all out with it. Become a completely different person. What you could do is you could get a hotel room. Yes, the cheesy decorating balloons and rose petals and all that. Do that if you want to or you know, go back home. You have a place to your own, you have to spend no money in a hotel. Go back home. What I would recommend you put on your lingerie, put on a trench coat, go outside and do a whole role play thing. That I feel like would be nice to spice up your Valentine. Tip number one, become a different person. Tip number two is to try a new position. Whether that's you, female, laying on the bed with your head hung over and him deep throating you and that's a good position to get the get it all the way down you know whether it's something standing up whether it's in a different part of the house try a different position not just missionary and back shots okay let's <laughs> let's step out of our comfort zone it's Valentine's Day let's do something special let's try you know let's try fisting maybe I don't know let's try something new something that when you or him look back on the night you're like oh my gosh i cannot believe we did that bring out the flavored loo bring out the handcuffs bring out the whips bring out everything try something new that's tip number two look at us right in tip number three if you and your partner this type of couple is to bring in a third or another couple this <laughs> is for the more adventurous lot. If it's not for you, then you can completely skip this tip. But I feel like if, you know, throughout the year you're doing, even if you are having threesomes throughout the year, I feel like doing it on Valentine's, especially if you incorporate tip number two, that would be very, what, and tip number one. Tip number one, two, and three all combined. Oof. So yeah. <laughs> Tip number three, include another person or another couple. Again, I don't recommend doing it with a friend because that can make things weird within the friendship. If you're mature enough to deal with that, great. But I would say stay away from the friends thing. You know, do it with an associate, right? If possible, honestly, it sounds like a stretch. 
if you guys could sign NDAs, that would be great. That way nothing gets leaked. You know, you know, yeah. So that's my tip number three is to bring in a third or another couple. Have some fun with it. Tip number four, try not to get arrested, but do it outside. Do it outside. <laughs> this is for the couples who are, you know, kind of boring you now. Let's see, I don't, I don't know, do it so, like on a rooftop or, you know, plan out. Uh, this might be way too last minute. But if you can plan like some type of camping trip, some type of away thing where you have to drop into like some mountain or something like that. If you live in Florida, I don't think there's anything like that. I don't know if there's anything like that here in Florida. But plan something away where you could be some type of park. Just don't get caught, okay? <laughs> and do it outside. Or if you are in Florida, there are these like little hotel things where it, it's set up where you have upstairs, downstairs, you have a hot tub, you have this strip pole, you have this big old shower. Those are fun. If you want to get one of those, it's kind of seedy. But if you two have been together for a long enough time, you need something like this. Not just a regular hotel room, but one of those rooms where the mirrors on the ceilings and stuff like that. Enjoy for a couple hours. Enjoy yourself. So that's my tip number four. Step outside of the bedroom. Outside of your house in general. Not necessarily a hotel room, something different. We already said hotel room for tip number one, where you was like created for a persona and role play. For this one, I'm, I'm encouraging you to go out more, further, voyage. Okay? All right. Oh, or even one of those little swingers clubs. Do that. Tip number five to spice me Valentine night, go to a strip club. Go to a strip club, meet a nice little stripper. <laughs> Get your guys' selves warmed up and turned on and pay her car note or something and have fun with each other, get each other hot and bothered, and then go and do tips one through four. That's my tip number five. Go to a strip club. A strip club is a magical place where all the girls love you and the music is nice, the food is amazing. What is it with strip club food? Why the food is so good? Have some drinks, throw some dollars. If you could get both of you in a back room, that would be fun. Like in a private dance for the both of you, that would be very much fun. Try to do that. Try to get that in there some way if they'll allow that. Okay? Okay, and those are my five tips. Create a different person, different persona, different personality, whether it's a wig, whether it's with color. You can't even see the color on this side. <laughs> you can't see more on this side. Whether it's with hair extensions with different colors, trench coat with lingerie underneath, a different accent, a French maid, something. Create a completely different personality and be that person for the whole night. All right, that's tip number one. Tip number two was to, was tip number two bring in a couple? I think so. Tip number two was bring in a couple or a third, right? Tip number three, no, no, no. Tip number two will try a different position. Try something different. Instead of missionary backshots, try something new for tip number two. Right. Tip number three was bring in a third. Oh, the numbers. Right? Bring in a third person, bring in a couple, have an origin. One thing leads to another. Right. So that's tip number three. Tip number four was do it somewhere different, outside of the house completely. Not a hotel room. One of those. One of those, I guess it's kind of a hotel, but it's not a hotel, where it has this pole and the jacuzzi and the big shower and mirrors on the ceilings. Those rooms are fun. If you can plan some type of camping trip, you're on a trail, you're hiking, boom, do it in the woods. Just don't get caught. That's <laughs> if you decide to go outside and voyage or whatever, do not get caught. Okay, I don't know why I'm thinking of Amsterdam right now. 
Duff always so wanted to go. I need to put that back on my list of places to go after that. All right, so yeah, do it somewhere different, right? That was tip number four. And then tip number five was to go to a strip club, a really, really nice strip club. Well, tip number four also included a swingers club. Do it at a swingers club. Yes, tip number five, strip club. And those are my five tips for making your Valentine night spicy. This <laughs> champagne, the oh yeah. But this tastes really, really good. Again, it's black girl, black girl magic sparkling bro. It tastes really, really good. It's not super dry. It's not super sweet. It's like right in the middle. Tastes really good with strawberries. So pop a strawberry in yours. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace sign and kissing face. Bye.